Hey everyone, today we're going to build something quite cool. We're not going to build a typical landing page, but a personal operating system that works directly in the browser. And this is inspired by a couple of websites. The first one is the post hoc website, which is bold, it's different, it feels playful, interactive, and has a ton of Easter eggs and things you can discover and explore. Another one is the Oatly website, which is also bold, opinionated, and very much not afraid to be weird. So we are going to build our own personal operating system website with working desktop view, folders, apps, terminal, settings, mini games, and a bunch of Easter eggs to showcase our personality. Let's get started. So as always, we are starting with the prompt. I have mine ready, I'm gonna copy paste it here, and I'm asking Bolt to create a desktop operating system simulator that serves as an interactive portfolio website. So we're building our own personal OS, but we still want to display a similar content that we would display on our regular landing page. So we want to have the sections about us, experience, projects, contact, and so on. We're just going to disguise it as an operating system, which will make it much, much cooler. So I'm asking Bolt to create a desktop environment for our website to use Windows system to add the content as desktop items, as I mentioned about me, experience projects and so on. Uh, I want to add terminal application so it feels even more as an operating system. Uh, I want to add a couple of additional apps. We're going to use Finder, Image Viewer, PDF Viewer, and I'm asking Paul to add the Minesweeper. We're going to see uh, how it's going to handle that. I'm asking for this visual design, so mostly minimal aesthetic with some subtle neo-brutalist elements, monochrome palette, a few Easter eggs and some cool interactions, and there are a few technical specifications. And the success criteria is that a person should feel like they're discovering someone's personality through their custom operating system. Now I'm gonna click build now in the plan mode and let's see what Bolt comes up with in a few seconds. Our personal operating system is ready. So let's click around and see what we've got. So here on the desktop, I've got an about me folder, for example, when I open it, there are two files inside. So this one is a short introduction and the second one is about our values. As you can see, we can drag and drop all the windows just like in a regular operating system. The same idea with the projects. Uh, each project lives as its own folder. So when we open it, we can read about the problem, about the solution. We could add some links at the bottom of it, link to an actual project. So anyone can see what we've done in the past. It feels very natural to browse. You're not reading a wall of text. You're exploring files, which feels more fun. And so experience works the exact same way. You can check your past roles, responsibilities, timelines, just present it as folders and files instead of bullet points. It's familiar, but it's also playful. And if that's too much for someone, we have an actual old school CV in the PDF format that our visitor can open, check, and even download. So now let's check our doc at the bottom. We have terminal, so let's open that. I can type in help and the terminal actually responds with the list of available commands. We can check a couple of them. We can check the coffee. It's just going to create a simple image of a coffee. Let's go party. It's going to display this very cool confetti. So as you can see, it's fully interactive and it feels very fun to use. The next item in our doc is the email inbox. When I open it, it's obviously not a real inbox, it's references and testimonials. So each message is basically someone saying something nice about us working together. It's a really comfortable way to read the references and much less formal than a typical testimonial section. And then yes, there's a Minesweeper that we've asked Paul to create for us. Let's see, it works. Let's lose on purpose. Yes, it works. It keeps score and I'm sure it gets pretty addictive over time. So honestly, at this stage, I'm already pretty happy. For a first iteration, this is way more powerful than a regular person might expect just from a single prompt. It's interactive, it's discoverable, and it feels like an actual environment, not a regular website. But we can still make it even better. So there are a few things I definitely want to improve. So first, the windows that we have, they can be dragged around, but they can't be resized yet. 
So that's something that immediately breaks the operating system illusion, so I'll fix that first. We're gonna ask Bolt to make all windows resizable. And once that's done and working, we'll move on to the settings in the top navigation. So we have system preferences here, but when we click on it, nothing actually happens. So we'll change it by adding some basic settings like changing wallpaper or adding a screensaver. Uh, and finally, I wanna have a bit of fun with the trash folder. So right now it's empty, but I'll add some files in there that will look intriguing so people will try to open them. And I'm going to make all those changes one by one. So in case something doesn't look or feel exactly as I want it, I can always use version history to roll back without losing other changes. And all the prompts I'm gonna use in this project are gonna be available as always in the video description. So I'm gonna get down to prompting and in a few seconds, you'll see our personal operating system version 2.0. After a couple of prompts, we have our changes ready. So when we open any folder, we can now resize it however we like. When we go to Portfolio OS and System Preferences, we can change the wallpaper now, so we can change it to a different solid color, to a gradient, or to an actual image. So now it actually feels like a real OS. We can also go to Screensaver. We can enable Screensaver, which should start after, let's say, one minute. And here we see how our screensaver would look like. Now when we go into trash folder, we have a few files here. So let's try to open passwords. Absolutely not. Let's try to open site projects ROI. Some metrics hurt more than they help. Very true. So now we are happy uh, with the changes we made. All the edits are now in place. So we are ready to add some new features. So at this point, after a few tweaks, this is where things get interesting because there's no single correct direction. We have to decide what kind of OS website we are actually building because we have so many options available. Should we keep it rather restrained and minimal? Or as in our case, do we wanna make it more playful and full of little surprises? And both approaches are valid. It's just about the intent and sort of the website you're building. So for me, it feels like a good moment to add one more small game to our button dock Something simple like Snake should be a fun addition. And I also want to add achievements as one, a way for us to acknowledge that the visitor interacted with our website and two, it can also serve as a map for our visitors so they won't miss any content that we've prepared for them. So now I'm going to prompt Bolt to add Snake as a minigame and to add achievements and let's see how it looks in a second. Awesome. So both Snake and the achievements are now ready. So let's start by trying out Snake. I'm going to hit play. Let's try to eat a couple of apples. It all works. Now we're gonna try to lose on purpose. Works perfectly. Now let's go to the achievements. So you can see all the achievement titles from the start, but the descriptions are hidden. They are just question marks. So that means that the title itself is the hint. There's no checklist or no instructions. You have to figure it out by exploring. For example, the first boot achievement, it means that we visited our website for the first time. So let's try to accomplish maybe, let's say the trash explorer. So the name suggests we have to explore our trash. So let's try that. Let's try to open every file in our trash folder. There we go. The achievement is unlocked and it says in the description that we've tried to open all protected trash files. Perfect. So once you unlock your achievement, description appears and makes sense in hindsight. And it turns achievements into those little puzzles instead of tasks and the user is not being told what to do. They're just being rewarded for their curiosity. And it makes the entire experience even more interactive and fun. At this point, the sky is the limit. Once you have the core operating system website working, what you add on top is completely up to you. In our case, I've added a Spotify embed, which feels really on brand. And I've asked Paul to add different visual themes. So we can switch, let's say to terminal, and it's a completely different aesthetic that looks also very cool. So it's really up to you. Again, you can add more visual themes, you can change the existing visual themes, you can add more apps, you can remove some apps, you can treat it as a living organism that you can iterate on for weeks, months, and years to come. Because if you look again at the postdoc website, almost everything here is clickable. There's something to discover 
everywhere. So this operating system approach gives you the same kind of surface area for interaction. And honestly, with one or two days of focused polishing, you could turn something like this into a genuinely stunning personal website. And the structure is already doing most of the work. The rest is only limited by your creativity, taste, and attention to detail. Starting from a single prompt, we ended up with a pretty cool OS-style website that actually feels great to use. And even I'm surprised by how easy Bolt made it for us to achieve this kind of effect. And personally, I can't wait to experiment more with this style of UI. And if you'd like us to recreate or build a specific website or effect, let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.